So let's go ahead and create a new solution just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to file, new solution, give it a second. You guys see the uh, new file path of the solution, FTSLN. So give it a second to create. And here's the solution sample. You guys see that it showed up. So now this is like our project. We can do many things to it. We can come up here and add what would be like to add. We can add a new test. We can add a GUI test, an API test. I already told you guys that UFT has now this new functionality where it can test APIs or it can test business process tests or business process flows. We, let's go ahead and add a GUI test which is a you know UI test and let's name it yeah let's leave it as named GUI test one I like that but I don't want to put it here I would like to place it let's place it in here and now a GUI test is created you guys see this this is how it looks one other thing that UFT has added is this what they call a canvas here you can literally drag and drop actions to create some kind of a test so you can use this GUI to drag and drop and create things so let me give you guys an example so if I want to insert a call to a new action I just do that let's call it action to whatever reusable okay and I'm gonna add it and you guys see that now we have action two and here's the start point of the test here's the end point of the test and we can go into action two and we can code whatever action two is supposed to do and we can make tests that way by dragging dropping actions together it's that modular test case development that uft keeps pushing for if you know if you guys had some existing actions you can go ahead and bring it in here right like if you have a login action bring it in here and have it do something so you can use that i'm personally not a big fan of this because i can show you guys much more efficient ways to handle it but i'm just showing you guys so you know you can even run your test from here right you can run a test you can record a test and then have that be in action but i would rather show you guys much more efficient and better ways of handling uft